Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. Candace is five times as old as Kareem. In three years, Candace will be two years older than four times Kareem's age. How old was Candace eight years ago? All right, I know that some of you are holding your phones right now screaming, yes, this, this type of problem is the one that I, that I struggle with, right? These age problems. And I know they can be really, really tough. Let me just say that you could, if you really wanted to, set up an algebraic equation for this, right? You could uh, write an equation with C and with K and set them equal to each other and, and solve it like that. And if that is your journey, I wish you the best of luck. But in this video, I'm gonna show us a little bit of a, a little bit of a hack, a little bit of a cheat code to get to the end of this question. Here's how it goes. So first off, whenever I have an age question, I like to set up this table. Uh, I like to set up the years that we're dealing with. So there are three years that we're talking about, right? There's, I'll do one more table right there. There's today, let's call it the year 2000. Makes me feel old, right? Uh, year 2000. Uh, uh, three years from now, in three years, it's going to be 2003. And then eight years before 2000 was 1992. There we go. And then we write our characters, right? We have Candace right here, and we have Kareem right there. All right, so here's the first little cheat code. If we're talking about something that happened eight years ago, that means that Kareem must be at least eight years old, right? He can't be negative years old. It wasn't like a twinkle in his parents' eye or whatever like that, right? So we know that Kareem was at least, I don't know, zero or one in the year 1992, and he's at least eight years old in the year 2000. Well, if Kareem is at least eight years old, and Candace is five times as old as he is today, right? That means that in the year 2000, she must be at least 40 years old, right? And immediately when I write a number in this table, I can, I can quickly just compute it here. Right? This is, I'll call this a minimum, so I'll underline it. Right, She's at least 40 years old in the year 2000. She's at least 32 in the year 1992. And she's at least 43 in the year uh, 2003. Well, what does that mean? It means that A and B are out, right? We're asking how old she was eight years ago. She couldn't have been, right? She couldn't have been less than 32. Otherwise, Kareem would have been a negative number. So always good to, to just start with that kind of logic. Now, here's the kicker. I'm, I'm going to cross these out because we they serve their purpose. Now we're going back to this. This piece of information is actually really helpful. She is currently five times as old as Kareem. Now, something that you should know about the GRE and age questions is they don't do half years. That's something you kind of say when you're, you know, like in, in kindergarten. Like I'm five and a half years old or four and a half years old, whatever, right? They don't do half years. So you can assume that all of the numbers in this table are integers, right? They're whole numbers. So let's kind of audition each one of these. And we'll start with answer option C. Let's assume that Candace was eight years, was uh, 41 eight years ago. So she's 41 in 1992. Again, I can immediately fill this in. What's that? 49. Eh, we have a problem, right? If she's 49 today in the year 2000 and I divide that by five, I get a decimal. Doesn't work. It's out, right? How about 47 in 1992? Well, I think this one might work, right? If we say she was 47 in 1992, that means she's 55 today in the year 2000 divided by five, that makes Kareem 11. And in the interest of time, I'll tell you, if you plug in 53, it doesn't work, right? Uh, so the only one that could work is 47. But even if you don't like that, right, what you could do is just complete the table using 47. So you fill in 47, 55, and then three years older than 55 is 58. And then uh, 11, uh, how old would he have been in uh, 1992? He would have been three years old in 1992 and 14 there. And sure enough, if you double check this, right, uh, four years, uh, two years older than four times Kareem's age. Four times 14 is 56, plus two is 58. So this is a, a tough problem no matter how hard you slice it, but hopefully that little cheat code can be helpful. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.